G'day, it's Cameron here from Constance Conservation. And today, you're probably wondering why there's tanks behind us. Well, I'm gonna be introducing you to a new animal here. If you can guess what it is, leave a comment now. But it's the Spitifex Hopping Mouse. They're incredibly cute and important. So stick around for all that coming up. So, the spin effects hopping mouse. What is it? Where is it from? Why is it important? Well, we're going to answer most of these questions today. Now, these fellas are actually omnivores. So, they have a very varied diet. They eat things like seeds, berries, roots and shoots, and in small invertebrates like insects and even small reptiles. So, they're not afraid to take on a tough meal. Now, they are perfectly adapted for a desert environment. They can actually survive without drinking water at all. They get all the water, or most of the water they need, from the food they eat. But don't be fooled, because if heavy rains happen, these guys have been known to travel up to 15 kilometers to take advantage of that rain. They're opportunistic breeders, which means that when they migrate to those rains, or when resources are abundant, their population will boom. But, in times of drought, and when food and water is very scarce, what will happen is their populations become, even in some areas, regionally extinct. But then when those resources come back, their population shoots back up to the very, very hardy survivors of Australia. Now these guys are distributed over to South Australia, Western Australia, and even the NT, and love the arid regions and arid habitats. Things like sand flats, sand dunes, open forests, grasslands, and basically wherever your spit effects grass grows, these fellas will be there, hence the name. Now these guys have actually been known to dig deep burrows up to one and a half meters deep, four to five meters in length, and they can live in groups of about five to 10. So they're very, very expert diggers. And they're not like your average mouse or your European house mouse. They've got very elongated legs for hopping at speeds when something's chasing them or if they need to um, catch their prey. Very feathery tail, so it's not like a normal mouse tail. It's got a very feathery like tail. Um, very uh, kind of distinct to the Australian marsupials. And very big eyes and ears. So they're very, very set uh, differently from the European mouse. So keep that in mind if you're out in you know, arid regions of Australia. If you see these fellas coming around at night. So when dawn or dusk breaks and night happens, that's when these guys come out. They avoid the heat of the day by coming out at night. So they're very, very built for a nocturnal life and a life in the desert. Now these guys have big ears for a number of reasons. The first one is of course their hearing. And the second one is well, it helps keep their body cool. Now they have blood vessels that go right throughout their ears and they pump blood into, cools down outside the body and pump back into the body to help keep the body cool. Now, they're actually really important for our environment and areas without the hopping mouse have actually a different ecosystem altogether. So he's very, very important. As you can see, he's got his nice feathery tail, very distinct from um, the usual um, species of European house mouse. He's got his big ears, these massive nocturnal eyes, which help with uh, letting in light at night. So it's actually discovered that where the hopping mouse is abundant, the dunes and the sands are much flatter, there's a lot less vegetation, and the ecosystem is actually pretty stable. Now, where the hopping mouse is actually removed from the environment due to predation of feral foxes and cats, the dunes and the sand are much higher, erosion is less, and vegetation is quite abundant, which actually changes the structure of the ecosystem, habitats, and the flora and fauna of that area. So, they actually play a crucial part to our environment in keeping everything as stable as possible. So there's a little bit about why they're so important for our Australian ecosystems. Thank you so much for watching and joining me on this uh, short video, but very informative video on the hopping mouse. Stay keen for more as we have some more animals in the area. I'll give you a quick 
little uh, sneak peek of the room that we have going on here. So we have our big tanks over here. We have our two tanks over here, hopping mice and uh, blue tongue lizard down there, which is actually a rescue. And he was uh, burnt all down the top of his head. So I'll give you a bit of a video on him later on. And we have our two fellas here. These are young baby snakes, which you can see more of in future videos. In the meantime, thanks for joining me. Stay keen for the next video. And let's love our wildlife.